And here is the piano keyboard, the staff for the guitar with that 8 underneath it, and the fretboard. Notation is much clearer on the keyboard, so I'm making a comparison here. On the piano, when you include the black keys, like this, every key to the right raises the pitch or frequency by the halftone or semitone ratio. There's only one key for each pitch, and the white keys are fixed in the C major scale pattern. The staff in the middle there reflects that every note follows in sequence, one after the other in the uh, major C major scale pattern. And you can uh, follow which frequency and note it is by looking directly above on the keyboard. Correction. From the internet, I got the idea that a scale is not a pattern. It's a formula. And so you can see that if you treat the uh, scale with frequencies. The major scale is diatonic, meaning two intervals are used, the half tone, or 12th root of 2, 2 to the 1 12th here, and the whole tone, which is 2 to the 2 12ths here. All the intervals are the ratio of the higher frequency uh, divided by the lower frequency. And the scale formula is to get a sequence of smaller intervals to equal the 2 to 1 or octave interval. There is a pattern to the order or sequence in which the notes are played. Here I stay mostly with the major and minor mode patterns, but there are other modes and other uh, five and six note scales and inflections with their own patterns and different sized intervals. Patterns are mostly what are played and heard as music, so I'll use that term frequently. Uh, patterns are also the way music is learned on the guitar, and that next. On the guitar, scale patterns are normally played across the strings. There's no visual cue in the staff notation. There is no built-in pattern such as the black keys provide on the keyboard. Frets are not the same distance apart. The higher notes can be either to the right or to the left. The same frequency uh, can be played in several places on the guitar fretboard. For instance, here on the uh, classical guitar, there's four places you can play middle C. It runs diagonally across the fretboard there. Along each string, each fret raises the pitch by a semitone, so you can have the uh, major scale pattern or any other scale pattern along a single string like this. They have still got to know where to start, and then you have to do a, a bit of arm shifting to do this. Usually it's a combination of across a string and uh, shift along a string. The fret spacing formula is just the inverse, 1 over the 12th root of 2, or 0.944. You multiply the string length by 0.944 to get the next string length, which tells you the fret spacing. The luthiers generally use a 1 over 17.817 uh, called the rule of 18. That would measure the distance between frets, uh, probably a little bit more accurate. But the luthiers can tell you more about that. There are, there are a lot of practical considerations that change these numbers. To use the staff notation effectively with guitar, you're going to want to learn to memorize the fretboard sooner or later. The sooner you learn to use it in practice, uh, the less mistakes you'll make in practice. The less mistakes you make in practice, the less mistakes you'll make on stage. One caution, you don't want to be playing mechanically. You don't want to be slavishly following this written music. You want it to remind you of what the sound is supposed to be. And then in real time, you make whatever adjustments you need to get the emotion you need. Before I do the memorization of the fretboard, I'll show you the sharps and flats. Here is G in two octaves from 98 cycles per second to 392 cycles per second. You got the F sharp up here on the keyboard. You got the F sharp on the staff. Everything goes nice and smooth left to right. The sharp in the key signature indicates which black key to play. And of course down below there on the fretboard you can see where everything is pretty much all over the place like it usually is. There's a nothing like that black key to show you where to play that sharp note. So again, you're going to want to memorize the fretboard in order to use that staff notation. And you would like to use the staff notation because a lot of music is written in staff notation. Now you want to be able to uh, listen to music and be able to play back what you have heard. And you also want to be playing with people who are as good or better than you, preferably better. And a lot of them would uh, be able to communicate better if you know this language. Hey, everything is a guide. You always want to keep some freedom of expression. 
Uh, you get more precise with the jazz and then again with the classical and some of the types of music. But keep that freedom of expression. I've never seen anybody that didn't want to change something. Is the first flat scale. It's F major. And again, on the staff and the keyboard, everything runs pretty smoothly left to right in ascending pitch. And of course, down below there on the fretboard, you have absolutely no relationship to what you're seeing there on the staff notation above it. There's a number of ways of learning the fretboard. I like this way because it's reinforced by the circle of fourths and fifths, and I'll show you that as well. So in this system, you take each string in turn, starting with the low E string, and you play the notes B, E, A, D, G, C, F, uh, as, as the chart indicates. And you go along each string like that. I'll speed up the video here so that you can get a good idea what the whole thing looks like. And then I'll show you how slow I do it. I just uh, am not that good at it yet. And it's a good idea to sing them or at least say them as they're being played. That way the pitch sense starts to uh, improve and everything starts to come together and work together. the chart up by itself and uh, you can take screen captures if you'd like. Uh, your letter names are on top, the uh, strings are on the left, and the frets are all uh, listed as numbers there in the chart. B, E, A, D, G, C, F is the order of flats. The reverse is the order of sharps. Here is the order of sharps and flats on the circle of uh, fourths and fifths. The order of sharps, the order of flats, and you can see them over here. This shows the staff and keyboard. You're going to want to be able to alter that with the sharps and flats. And uh, all of this requires a little bit of uh, playing music alongside the learning of the theory. Sharps again, flats again. And the reason I like this system of learning the fretboard is they start to, all these ideas start to reinforce each other. To finish off here, some images that might be helpful. Here's the uh, letter names of the key of C major. And here are the frequencies on the staff and fretboard. <laughs> 